And she's back. Right, computer, do your thing, make your magic. sidetrack looking at shiny things and I'm back hello everybody nobody's back with me they're all sick of me Louise fair call fair call I say fair call oh my computer's frozen already so apparently I think the internet's got a little bit crazy today I've got slow internet here, so I will try and keep it short, sharp and shiny for you this afternoon. Let's straighten up that camera a little. There we go. Hello, Karen. Hello, Deb. All right, we're going to do this and we're going to make this magic happen. I hope you're all having a wonderful afternoon. Happy Friday to you. Um, I'm having some internet issues and it is a little slow here. So uh, I think with all of the online shopping going on in the world at the moment, um, the internet's a little bit slow. Anyway, enough about that. So today, as part of the Great International Craft Show and our big Black Friday deals, we have got some fantastic specials for you. And today we have got... Tim Holtz, Scrap Effects and Stamperia products at 20% off. Now, this is a special for today only. These, uh, This is not going to be on special tomorrow. Uh, there'll be a brand new special tomorrow. So the way that this works is that we ask you to pop your items in the cart, put them through, pay for them today, pay your $9.95 postage today, and then we will hold your order here for a few more days, post it on Monday or Tuesday, and then we will get it out to you then. If you want to do another order in between, you just pay for the No Judgment Postage Edition, which is going to be, um, which you'll find at the checkout, so you don't have to pay full postage again. So we look after you that way. Radio. Enough about that. I'll talk more about it later. You can also get 25% off of Natalie May's products and you'll find it all on nataliemay.com.au. Let's get into making some Christmas reindeer. Oh, and I can't see my screen. Okay, I can't see your comments. Um, you're just going to have to be all funny and amazing without me because technology and I are not on the same page today. What I am going to do is we're going to do some of these guys. We're going to make some Scrap Effects Reindeer again. Now, I did these last year. These are super fun and very, very awesome. I went looking for all of the reindeer from last year and I came up with three and a half reindeer. <laughs> There's Louise Giggles from the other room. So this is the large Scrap FX chipboard reindeer. And as you can see, here is one I prepared earlier. And our lovely reindeer. Can you see on that tablet? Do, can you see the comments on that tablet? Or you because, can see. Can oh, see we see the comments, but it keeps freezing on me. Oh, for goodness sakes. Anyway. So this is one I've prepared earlier. So they are a three dimensional, they stand alone by themselves. Of course, that doesn't show up as well as it, <laughs> as it does in front of me on camera, but they stand beautifully like so, all right? Now, the other thing is we have got them in other sizes. So we have this guy here. This is a really lovely size. I do love them. And he stands like that otherwise known as like that. And then we also have the 3D reindeer. This is one, the very, very first one that I ever did. Um, and his little eerie, his additions on his ears are a little sad, but you get the picture. So we have, we, we've got all sorts of bits and pieces going on. So what I'm going to do today, oh, and of course we've got our 
We've got, what's what's this one called, Lou? Eileen. Eileen. So Eileen's... Has got eaten by a bear. <laughs> has been eaten by a bear. Eileen's a little short on one end. Eileen's missing her legs, but that's okay. Eileen's legless. Our Eileen's legless. And what I've done here is, oh, sorry, what Louise has done here has um, planted Eileen in our Tim Holtz trees. Now, we have recently just sold out of these Tim Holtz trees and we won't be getting them back again, in again. But I wanted to show you what you can do with the Tim Holtz trees and how you can support your reindeer if they are missing a leg. Or to, to bring you privy to the conversation that was earlier today, it was attacked by a bear from behind and we're missing the legs. So you get the picture. But these trees here, these trees um, we did have in stock, we no longer have available, but if you did purchase them, this is something that you can do with them. You, these have been colored using uh, Lindy sprays and I've gone with three different colors to get that lovely variation of color there. So they look pretty cool. And if we just take our broken reindeer out and pop it back in there, everything will be fine. And now I'm pretty grateful for not being able to see the comments at this point, but we'll go with that. All right, so what happens with these kits? This is one of the Scrap Effects reindeer kits. They come like this, and we are going to color them, and we're going to embellish to suit. We're going to make it work for us. Um, you can color them in anything that you like, and that's really, really good. The kids can do them. You can color them with textures. You can color them with crayons. You could color them with just about anything. Today we're going to, I'm going to do them in, well, I've still got these paints sitting here in front of me with the uh, distress paints. We've still got those sitting here and I still have a few of the other little bits and pieces floating around. So I will be using those. Uh, what happens is they slot in um, from edge to edge. So I'm just going to join those two little areas. Uh, so I have to apologise, I cannot see your comments today, this afternoon, um, but this is the tall, the large reindeer. You're impressed by my crafty talents. They are impressed by your crafty talents, of course they are. And then his ears slot into here. Yeah, it freezes. Oh. See, that's my point. It, does, it just does. Oh, no, I'm back. Oh, stay there, quick. Okay, now I can see your comments. All right, an example of Louise's crafty talent. Thank you, Susan. So that is what happens with these. So let's color them up. We have got, this is the large reindeer. Oh, Lou, while you're in here, could you grab my Reeves gold paint, please? And then this is, it's in the standing up, the little short one. Okay. Behind you, behind you in the trolley. And then we've got this one, and this one's got the wider reindeer, so that's how they all come together like that. Okay, let's add some collage paper to these first. So what I'm going to do is add some collage paper, collage paper to these elements, and then we're going to add some paint over the top. The collage paper that I am using, uh, I'm going to, I've just got my little tub here of collage paper, and these are... Of course, the Natalie May scrapbooking collage papers. Um, oh, he doesn't need legs. We're just going to shove his bottom in a bush. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. What I am looking for is my collage paper, the new circles one that I drew a little earlier this year. Um, I don't quite know why I don't have that handy. Oh, hang on, I might be getting it. Here it is. So this one is called Doodly Circles. And my little tub that I've got here that I keep my collage paper in is just from Kmart before anybody asks. Okay. Gel medium. So again, we're going to need to use some gel medium. So I'm using the Dina Wakeley gel medium here. So this is a hand-drawn collage paper, paper that I have done. Um, and I'm just gonna tear it up. And I don't wanna make it like a huge thing. And I, I just want to add a few little bits and pieces. So 
I'm going to grab, go in here and stick it down like so. And you can see how that paper becomes transparent. I love that. Love it. Very cool. Add some more up here. So you can color, cover this with absolutely anything. So you could use a collard, a colored collage paper, which is what I did uh, last year. Oh, let's go down this way for that bit. And these don't take long. It's actually um, quite, there we go. That's enough on there. Might pop a little on his belly. Did you say our air conditioner's died, Louise? Yeah. It's There's not, it's not ideal. All right, now I'm gonna grab a little bit more. And I'm just taking it out the lid. So collage medium, of a collage gel medium is of course the perfect combination of adhesive and sealant for this project. I'm not worried about it going up over the top uh, and I'll, I'll file it all off in a moment. A Little bit on here. So get yourself some Natalie May scrapbooking Collage papers while they are 20% off because 25% off even actually my bad. I'm going to stand that up by that Just so it doesn't stick and I'm going to pop some on the legs And I'm not going to do collage paper on the second one. Um, I will do just straight paint on my second one. Mm -hmm. Right, there we go. So these are excellent little gifts for the kids to do for Christmas. If you have um, grandkids over Christmas school holidays that you hang out with, look after, babysit, uh, whatever the situation may be, you have some small people in your life that you would like to create with, then these are really, really fun and easy to do. Uh, the the reindeer that I did with no back, he has been stamped on and has just been coloured with an ink pad straight on the top. So you can see that stamping on the back and then I smothered it in gold. Super easy. And then some of the other ones have got some collage paper on it that's really, really easy to do, which is the same technique as we're doing right here. Okay, collage paper there. That's terrible placing. I might put that one at the front of my... Oh, you made a set last year and you're making... Okay, so I'm just reading some comments. Jane's just commenting saying, that she made a set for her mother-in-law and making a set for your friends as well. That's fantastic. They're a lovely little gift. <laughs> oh, excuse me. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna do that for now. I'm gonna pop these little elements aside and then I'm just gonna paint the other one because nobody wants to see me pop gel medium on a reindeer. So I'm going to pop those aside to dry. They're not going to take very long at all, especially in this warm day here in Radelaide. Uh, what I am going to do is we're going to colour this guy. Um, you don't need to do too much to them. Um, you don't need to prep them at all. I'm going to do a orange, red and pink one. I'm going to start with pink on the bottom and I'm going to use a paintbrush to to put the colour on. So I'm just going to use one of the Art by Marlene paintbrushes. They are, this is the the round one, probably my go-to. I've only got the round one, the set of round ones open actually. I don't use them very 
Um, I don't use any other one at the moment. Now I do love that you can just use these just like that. So being super rough and I'm getting in on my edges as well. And what will happen in a minute is I'm going to add another colour, but we will also be have to flip them over once it's dry and do the other side. I'm going to dry in between to layer up. So now I've got abandoned coral. And I'm just going to do a little finger blend on all of those just to make them sit in a little bit more. So not so brush strokey. Because that's the technical term, brush strokey. Carved pumpkin. It's amazing how much you, what you can do with just a few different colors, I tell you. I've only, I haven't got too many of them open today, so I didn't want to open them all before making my projects. I just thought I'd just stick with a few basic colors, um, which is really important. I've now gone for finger painting. Bit of an orange bottom there on that one. And I'm probably, I think I'm gonna do a second, a second covering of paint in a minute. A little bit more splattery. And go from there. So adding some Tim Holtz paints to your stash will give a completely different effect as well when you are creating. Flip, flip, flip it, flip it. Start back with the pink again. So we've had a lovely day in here in the studio today. It has been lovely and busy picking all of your orders. You guys have been shopping up a storm and adding some fantastic crafty things to your stash, which we really, really love. What I do encourage you to do though is share your crafty creations with us in the Natalie May scrapbooking community. Tell your friends about it as well because you can go into the draw to win a $25 gift voucher each month just by sharing your projects and entering our competitions. So don't forget to make the most of that and try and do that. Tell your friends about it as well um, and introduce them to our crafting community and introduce them to our online store and tell all your friends how amazing we are. Uh, very, very normal, or well, semi-normal people. Um, not necessarily my staff, normal, but she's my sister, so that doesn't really count. Um, and um, yeah, we, we, we love the, the hard work. We love what's involved behind the scenes here, packing all of your orders. We all do it individually here. It is not packed by anybody else other than Louise or myself, and we do take pride in what we do here. So um, tell your friends and share the love around, especially about our, our Black Friday special, um, which extends into Saturday and Sunday as well.
So that side's dry, that side's dry. What I might do now, and I've got good coverage on both sides, can add a little color up there. I'm actually gonna add some gold as well, which I've got Lou to get that gold out for me. Um, and I think I might add a few little splatters now in a lighter color in this light pink. So I'm gonna grab that there and grab a thinner paintbrush. So a good paintbrush for splattering is something that is going to be something a bit long and thin and it's going to hold a little bit of um, water as well so something like that so I'm going to I've just dipped my paintbrush in the water and I'm just making up a lovely little wash here a little color and then I'm just going to give him a few little splatters and then put it aside. See how that little splatter kind of works nice and cute? And that's just another level before I uh, add a little bit of stamping and a little bit of uh, gold, gold paint. So the splattering, we've had a conversation recently um, with one of my online classes about the splattering and I understand not everybody can splatter. I used to be an awesome smoker back in the day and consequently my splattering is an ash tap where you it's a finger only it's not a wrist flick so i'm spreading the the drips with my just by by tapping the top of the brush oh look how good that's sitting on top of there it looks great excuse me while i have a little moment some up around here so now we've got the splattery So if you don't know how, if, you, if you're terrible at doing it, another little trick is to grab your paintbrush and tap it off like that, okay? But having a loaded brush helps. You can't splatter if there's not enough on your brush to splatter. So I need to dry those off. Oh, I've got a few people watching here this afternoon. Welcome to everybody who's just tuned in to see me splattering reindeer. We are making chip a uh, scrapboard scrapboard chipboard scrap effects christmas reindeers okay they are here's some i prepared last year and these are a fun little project that you can make for your friends your mother-in-law perhaps or your do a project with your kids or your grandkids uh they are 20 percent off today these reindeers so you can make the most of that just need to totally dry these so that I don't smush my splatters because nobody likes a smushed splatter. Dry them off and then I will turn them over and add some splatter to the other side. And that's hot. Flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it, and repeat. So I'm making a lovely little puddle here of watery distress paint, and I'm going to get some splatter going on the top, and then Do that and I'll put those aside just to air dry while we paint the other ones. So there's a great little Christmas gift. I may have actually gifted some to uh, some of our customers, some of these reindeer last year because I had a whole heap of them but I haven't been able to find them. So I guess that they are have been added to somebody's little stash at home as a little gift because they have disappeared off the face of the earth. And I'm pretty sure I didn't take them home and add to my Christmas crafting collection. All right. So with the other one, what's happened here is that that gel medium is almost dry. Uh, I'm going to just go and grab a nail file and then we're going to
file those edges off. So using a nail file to file the edges is a great little trick that I have learnt. Turn that off before I walk away. Um, and I thought of something else. Oh, I needed some stamps, didn't I? Sorry about that. All of these things that come to my mind just after I do the I set up and think, oh, that's right, I need that and I need that and I need that. So these won't take long to dry. And you can see that they're almost transparent, which means that they are totally dry. Okay, I've got a nail file. My nail technician gives me all her old nail files. We disinfect them and then I put them on an angle. I don't know how this is gonna show on camera, maybe if I hold it like that. And then I run my nail file and it just takes off that excess. So a piece of sandpaper will do the same thing. It is the quickest, most effective way of getting a nice edge to get rid of any fairy bits of collage paper, okay? Beautiful. There's one. Look at that, straight off in two swipes. Three. And in here, so that's a wonderful little tip. So just another little tip, if you are planning on doing this, you need to make sure that you do not put any paper down into this slot. You don't want paper in there because it's gonna make it really difficult for you to um, Put your legs on, exactly, to swipe your legs on. Can you just uh, turn the volume down on the tablet, please, Lou? I just heard it ding before a text message come through. Thanks, babe. And if I can ignore it, I will. All right, done, done, done. Let's add, I'm gonna wipe that off because I've got some gritty bits on my palette. And now I'm gonna add some paint. I'm gonna go light this time. So I have got some speckled egg. And I'm just gonna smash it on there like that. So I'm thinning it out with my fingers. I'm not losing my collage paper in the background there. You can wipe it over with a baby wipe. I'm going to be putting some green on as well in a moment. Turn it over and smash it on the other side. still see my collage paper coming through but I've got this beautiful lovely light color coming through there as well and I'm just going to stand it up against here to dry do his legs and then I'm going to add some green in a minute and then add some stamping to it too Has people, have you guys been Christmas crafting at all? Who's been make, who makes, still makes Christmas gifts for their friends and family? I, uh, sadly, I haven't done that in quite a few years. My Christmas crafting is pretty much you're looking at it at the moment. It's a bit, um, a bit sad and lonely.
There we go, getting it on there. Not messing around with a paintbrush. It goes on like butter, really. It's very, very nice. Oh, Karen, you're not making any, doing any Christmas crafting? Not your thing? I'm a little scroogey sometimes when it comes to Christmas, and that's okay. Just gonna stand that up to dry. See if I can be a bit clever. No, I can't. Naomi, you're doing Christmas tags. Very nice. Um, I used to do Christmas tags. Maybe I might do some this year. Or I could catch up on all the instructions I need to write before then. Susan, still making hubby's birthday card for tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. Happy birthday to the husband from Louise and I. I hope that he is enjoying his 23rd year. I'm assuming he's turning 23. Is that right, love? Is that right? What's your husband's name? Terry? Yes. Who's that? Susan's husband. He's got his birthday tomorrow. Is she making the card? No, she's, she's still making the card. Uh, apparently, it's she's still making it. Yep, getting... Not a big thing in Karen's house. Oh, you know what? It used to be a big thing in our house when Jessica was younger. 19-year-olds um, are just not interested in Christmas. So that kind of kills the vibe a little bit, doesn't it? All right, I'm drying those off because I just want to swipe a little bit of green over the top. So just using my heat tool not going to take very much at all. What do you mean he's not 23? Of course he's 23. Actually, I might go with purple. So this one is called Dusty Concord. So as you all know, the colours of the Distress Paints go along with the rest of his colour, with the, with the uh, collection of of paints from Tim Holtz, sorry, the rest of his collection of, oh God, it's Friday, his, his inks and his sprays. So each time the lovely Mr. Tim does a release, he brings out all of the things in all of the colors. There you go, so you see that swipe, just a little swipe, that purple was actually a really great, great pickup. And I'm just touching, you can see actually the area that I'm touching with my finger. So just that tip, the high point of my finger, so that it's just giving a bit of a smudge. Lovely, I'll pop that one there. And at this point, you don't scratch your nose because you'll end up with purple on your nose. Get up there. Right, that. Okay, 4.03. Nearly getting there. We are almost there. I've got some stamping that I want to add to this guy. No, actually, the stamping I might add to the other one. Or I could add it to both some little elements, then we're going to add some gold to finish off to give them a good sparkle. Since I'm not a glitter person, I'm going to bypass the glitter. Gold will be nice. Um, we are, Then we're going to put them together and I'm going to, have to talk you through how I've created the other two that I showed you earlier. So now that we've done this uh, and you can see the process of, of what's just an idea on what you can create with what you can put on them. I'll talk you through how I created the other ones. Keep dropping them, slippery little suckers. Oh look, and that's just a good amount actually, just touching it with my fingertips 
is getting a really good amount on. Okay. So that one is drying. The other one over here is almost dry. I just need to dry those splatters quickly and then we'll add some stamping and a little gold and everybody is happy as Christmas. Hey Louise, yeah. can you send Trevor a text message asking him to stop in here on his way home, please? To fix our air conditioner? No, it's done. Oh, you fixed it? Good. Did you turn it on? Oh, I just had a moment? Okay. All right. No, not today. So the stamp that I'm using is from the Don't Overthink stamp set. This is, this one is from the, yeah, from one of my releases and it is two, so you get one, two, three, four, five, six stamps in the set. The storage case is currently on special uh, and so are the stamps and there is a cutting guide on my website for those as well. See you tomorrow, everybody. See you later, alligator. Have a lovely night at netball. See you in the morning. All right, what I'm going to do is add a really light amount of stamping here. I'm just gonna do a little touch, a little touch, and then I'm gonna flip it. And it does these little segments. I do love this stamp. It's one of my favorites, there we go. I'm sure most of you have got it. Good eye. I'm going to pop a bit more down here. Perfect. Perfect. And it adds, like we've talked about in all of the other Facebooks today, black and white give dimension. So I am adding the black for the depth here. And then uh, the gold is going to give our dimension. Alrighty. Yeah, Karen's just said glitter is not her favourite thing either. Couldn't agree more. Okay, the paint that I'm using is the Reeves Gold. This is the bestest Christmas gold ever. It is the most beautiful colour. If I put it here, it'll probably still be here in the morning. But it is the most beautiful shade of gold. Okay, you can see that lovely colour. And I've just totally done that in the wrong hand, but that's okay. Let's just wipe it off. Right, do a little dob here, or a big dob here. And I'm going to swipe that on just like I did the purple. I'm going to put it on here and just get it on my fingertip and then touch the reindeer. So you don't want too much because it can be a little overpowering, right? So you can just whack a little on, just lightly touch the body. Okay, if you are a glitter person, which, <coughs> excuse me, I understand there are a few of you out there um, and I will forgive you for that drink break excuse me then of course you can add glitter if that is your thing I don't have the patience for glitter Uh, Robin. Oh, Robin remembered that I had a family dinner last night. Yeah, we did actually. It was just the three of us went to Jessica's favourite burger place um, and um, ordered food that we then couldn't eat because we, you know, you order too much and your eyes are bigger than your stomach sort of situation. Uh, <laughs> and um, it was nice actually for the three of us to catch up 
and sit in the same room together and have a conversation. Very, very nice. Uh, with not being attached to phones and whatnot. It was actually quite, quite lovely. Quite nice. Naomi, Art by Marlene Glitter Paints are gorgeous. Oh, yes. Maybe. Oh, good thinking. I will use that. Oops. On the other one. How does that sound? I'll use the Art by Marlene Glitter Paints. That's a very good idea, Naomi. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay, nearly done. So the lovely Naomi and Linda, uh, my two brand ambassadors, have been whipping up a few little kits ready for the show. I will uh, show you tomorrow morning what's, what those projects look like. Um, I the, the kits are just fantastic. Perfect for Christmas gift giving. Naomi's little cards are splendid. In fact, her little card kit for making Christmas gift cards. So for putting Christmas gift cards in, I should say, for those of us who don't uh, gift as many gifts anymore and tend to go more towards a gift card, then this little purchase might be right up your alley. So I will show you that tomorrow morning on the 9am Adelaide time live Facebook when I announce what tomorrow's special is going to be. All right. Can you see, I've zoomed up a bit, but can you see that lovely gold sitting on top of that now? It does look very pretty. I'll tilt it towards my light. Yeah, it's nice. So that's on both sides, that shimmer. Um, I will just grab, now I've got a big dog of paint there that I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna take that and put that somewhere safe. Save that for later. Okay, let me grab one of the glitter glues. Have you all seen the Art by Marlene glitter paints? They are fantastic. Just gonna grab them, I won't be a second. Diamond, silver, black, and gold. So these also come with um, a, a gold, very much like this one, and a silver. So let's get those guys out of the way. I think that this needs to be, because our colours here are more cool colours, I think that's going to work best if we use the silver glitter. Uh, now, these do dry up really, really nicely. Uh, it's possibly not going to show up all that well on camera. Now, when I've put it, smushed it out like this, it has come up as quite, well, it looks a bit opaque and creamy. It dries clear with the glitter in it. So I'm gonna give it a good generous amount. Can you see that glitter? Is it showing up? I, I, I've waited for the delay on the um, Facebook feed to see it, there we go. Nice. I've missed a spot on his bum there too. It's all right, we won't tell anyone. Oh, there we go. Glitter without the fuss. Isn't that splendid? Very good idea, Naomi. So that'll dry clear in just a minute and it's got a really nice shimmer to it. And we'll do the same thing here. You have six. How many reindeers can one person have? Well, so Louise and I went hunting through my Christmas decorations box a minute ago to try and find the rest of the reindeers and we can't actually find them. And we know there's a lot more reindeers, but I don't know where they are. So I must have gifted them out to a couple of you last year because I remember making one for almost every live Facebook that I did for what well, I felt like it anyway. 
Let's have a bit of a look. I know I did a lot of them. I need to kind of prop it up a bit so it's not... There we go. Oh, there's a few of you watching. Watching me finger paint. Welcome to our... Uh, no, we are making Christmas reindeer with the scrap, scrap effects chipboard and we are coloring them and making the magic happen i'm really going to get the glitter on these antlers the glitter paint get it on there like we mean it and i'll only put it on one side Okay, more baby wipe. Oh, manicure destroyed. And then we are going to, I'll dry them off, then I'll put them together. How does that sound? Good, good. Hello, Judith. Hello, my lovely friend. Yeah, they've just got, these have got a really lovely finish with the distress paints the distress paints are really really subtle they they just give this gorgeous finish that acrylic paint doesn't and because the distress paints have got a more of a matte finish to them they just look so much better i i just really really love these i've forgotten how much i enjoy these paints and today has I've used them on all three projects today and it's reignited my love for these distress paints. Um, over in the Natalie May scrapbooking creative community, I've mentioned a little earlier that we have a competition that we run each month where we, I give you a theme, ask you to share your project and you can go in the draw to win a voucher. So the competition this month, which we still have five days left of this month, uh, you can win a $25 gift voucher if you share your favourite project that you have ever made. And it can be anything at all. Um, there is a little hashtag at the, like, that you need to use, and I share that information on a post in the, in the group. But to be in it, to win it, you just have to share your favourite creation. And like I said, it can be anything at all. It can be a reindeer. It can be a canvas that you've painted. It could be a jumper that you've knitted, if that's your thing. Um, but it is your favourite project that you've ever created. It's all about sharing our love for creating. Um, Naomi, if you wouldn't mind just popping the link in the group to... Uh, in this chat to our creative community that would be fantastic i encourage you all to join up and share your love of crafting because that is what it is about okay we would love for you to share all of your crafting wins i've got glittery fingers now but because it is a paint it should just wash straight off right naomi Okay, I'm just gonna let those sit. And this is our reindeer from earlier. So I'm gonna pop him together now. So the great thing is, is we have got simple slots, slide in slots that you just pop in and they sit, you can pull them apart so that next year, for like for storage, you can just pop them in a, in a bag, in a Ziploc bag and get them out ready for next year. So there's our first one. Shall I add some splatters? I feel the need to add some splatter. No, Natalie, leave it alone. Stand up, stay there. Right, and this guy, so he's dry now. We're going to slot legs into legs legs into hips 
like that. And then his antlers, his antlers. Oh. There we go. So he looks pretty gorgeous too. I love that. I love him. It's come up beautifully. He's super pretty. going to come up and give you some detail you can see that art by marlene glitter paint so you can buy them as individual tubes as well you don't necessarily have to buy them oh that's bad placement um you don't have to buy them as a whole set you can buy them as individuals as well now i've just realized i can probably sorry girls all right so that is two little wonderful little reindeer using distress paints. We've painted it on, we've smushed it on, we've swiped it on, we use collage paper, um, lots of different things in that gorgeous glittery paint. They're an excellent project to be doing for yourself, by yourself, you can do it with kids, you can do it, you can adult it up as much as you like or as little as you like. So they're very, very three dimensional. This one stands about I don't know. Fairly high. I don't have a ruler on me. I was trying to measure it. Um, so they are great. So I'll quickly talk you through how I've created the other ones. Um, let's test the memory. You can find the other tutorials on my YouTube channel as well. This guy here, this one I used um, some collage paper from Scrap Effects in the background. And you can see that right here. And then these shimmery bits that you can see, these are using flakes um, that I have had in stock from time to time where I have popped some glue on, let the glue go tacky, and then put the gilding flakes over the top. Okay, gold, whoops, broken antlers, um, but they are stunning. And then there is some stamping on here as well and some lovely gold highlights. Then we have got this guy here. So this little reindeer was completely and totally covered in collage paper. So the calligraphy collage paper from Scrap Effects. And then I just lightly finger touched it with some pink. So magenta and some perhaps marine Dean Wakeley paint. And then some gold. And that's done. He's, he's super simple, that one. And then finally, this was the very, sorry girls, that was Louise ringing me. She can just wait a minute. Um, so yeah, the very, very first one that I did, and that has got some gilding flakes on it as well. And I wrapped some little baubles around his antlers, which of course they have seen better days, but um, you get the picture there. Okay, well that's it from me today. I'm going to take some photos for you, upload the finished products in the uh, on the Facebook page for you to have a bit of a look. Thank you very much for joining me today uh, and creating these little guys. Had a ball, loved it. And I will be back here tomorrow morning at 9am Adelaide time to give you a bit of a tour and have a chat um, and show you some of the things that we have on special for tomorrow because you're going to be excited. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments or flick us a message. We would love to help you out. But jump online to nataliemay.com.au um, and I'm just going to take my camera off here just to show you a little perspective on my little reindeer. Hang on a minute. Oh, I can't get it off now. Oh, there we go. Oh, he looks great. Um, but yeah, you can, um, I'll, I'll jump online, take some photos and um, share these little guys around. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I look forward to chatting with you soon. See ya.